In this video, I will show you how to add scheduled Calendly appointment details to Google Sheets automatically. So what will happen? Every time someone is going to schedule or book an appointment in Calendly, we will automatically collect those details in Google Sheets in real time. So if you also want to sync your schedule event details with Google Sheets, come with me and I will show you everything step by step. Now to automate this process, I'll have to integrate my Calendly application with the Google Sheets and I'm going to connect these two with the Pabli Connect. It is an integration and automation software and here you can notice I am an existing user so I am already logged in. You can also create your free account in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now once you will reach to the dashboard, click on this blue button that is create workflow and firstly provide any random name to your workflow flow to your automation okay so i'm providing the name as add scheduled calendly appointment details to google sheets now click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you so these are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this so we need to always select the application in which we are building an automation so understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer and here according to our use case whenever any new appointment is scheduled in calendly application then automatically collect to those details in google sheets application okay so i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window now the idea here is i'm going to connect these two applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger event that is invite created and that to this organization one okay you can also read the instruction this will trigger when the webhook for all subscribed event within the organization is scheduled basically whenever someone is going to schedule an event schedule an appointment this automation will trigger okay now i am going to connect calendly with the pabli connect so simply click on add new connection click on connect with calendly and then you will have to provide the access of your calendly account well i am already logged in into a different app so the connection is already done okay and here you can notice it is asking for the organization name and username okay so there is only a single organization and single user in my calendly account so i don't need to do any changes okay now i'll click on this button save and send test request and you will notice that it will start waiting for the webhook response all right here you can notice it is waiting for the response which means once you have clicked over the save and send test request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here okay so basically it is asking to a test submission or record and here the test submission means creation of a new invitee in one of our event okay so i have two events here into my calendly account so i am going to open this astrology consultation online okay firstly i am going to copy and open this particular event into a different different app and then i am going to register for this particular event as a dummy user basically i am booking an appointment for the astrology consultation online okay so let me select a random date okay so how about i select this 26th may and 10 am for the consultation now it will ask you the details okay so i am going to provide my details as a user but those details will be dummy details only okay so dummy user assume that the name of the person who is registering for this particular appointment is dummy user email address is demo at the rate pavli .com, okay asking for the phone number so again i will be adding a dummy phone number that is okay i am adding a 10 digit random number please share anything that will help prepare our meeting okay so how about i give a hint that uh, what is going to be the topic for this consultation it is about my marriage okay i am providing this particular text and now i am going to schedule this event okay and as soon as the event is scheduled here you will notice these details will be captured via public connect all right it is still waiting for the response i'll have to wait for few more seconds and you will notice how the details of that calendly appointments will be captured via public connect and here you can notice the response is received now let me show you the details one by one okay so here you can notice it is the email address of the same person who have scheduled an 
an event with us okay let me show you the name of the person here we have the phone number also here we also have this text which we have provided at the time of appointment booking let me show you other details also okay so here we have also this uh, resource name basically what uh, this appointment is all about so it is all about astrology consultation online and we even have the start time of this consultation okay i think the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our calendly and tabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards every time someone is going to book an appointment every time someone is going to schedule an event the details will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is done and now i want to collect these details in spreadsheet so that my team member can access all the appointment details okay so firstly i will select the action event as add a new row because firstly i will add a new row a blank row and in that row the details will be updated okay and just like we have built a connection in calendly and pabli connect now we will be connecting google sheets and pabli connect but i have already provided this access multiple times so how about i go with the existing connection but if you are building this connection for the first time you will always have to go with the new connection only and after that you can also go with the existing connection and here you can see my google sheets is connected with the pabli connect and whatever the spreadsheets i have created into my account have started visible here you can notice and i am going to select which specific sheet basically this all appointment details scheduled via users in calendly okay so i will be selecting the same well it has got selected automatically in this select a sheet you can notice i have a sheet one only a single sheet only again it has got selected automatically now here you will notice that whatever the columns i have created into my spreadsheet basically this event type the invitee name the invitee email invitee phone number and appointment date all these column names are visible in a pabli connects dashboard as well okay and i just need to fill these details fill these fields and this is how the data will be updated here automatically okay so now from where i'm going to provide the detail remember we have just received the data into our previous step and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above data and paste it below okay i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down let me first search for the resource name which was astrology consultation online okay invitee name so again let me search for the invitee name i think it was something like a dummy user okay so i have provided the same now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time i repeat whatever the details i am providing here with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in next time and if in case i will provide any detail here manually this detail will remain same okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay so i have provided the data in all the fields now i'll be clicking on this button and you will notice how the data will be added in our spreadsheet okay so i have clicked on this button fingers crossed waiting for the response well the response is received already let me go back to my spreadsheet and here you can notice the data is also added into our spreadsheet okay so let me show you the details okay so here we have the event type as astrology consultation online here we have the invitee name the same email address the same phone number all right why it is not taking phone number i think the format is not correct how about first i change it into the number format okay and now i'll be clicking on this save and send this request button once again okay so let me do the same all right so i'm clicking on this button once again and let us go back to our spreadsheet and check for the details and again we have encountered this error okay so i'll have to check why this error is occur okay so here you can notice this is the invitee phone number and in this phone number field i am also providing a plus sign okay and whenever we provide phone number along with the plus sign 
Google Sheets never take that number. Okay, let me even show you with the example. Okay, so this is the 10 digit number. Okay, I have provided the same. Now I will press enter and then you will notice it is not taking that plus sign. It has removed that plus sign automatically. Okay, so how about I firstly delete this existing data coming back to Pabli Connect and in order to save this phone number along with the plus sign without any error, I will add one apostrophe with this. Okay, so I have added the same yes this is a trick whenever you want to add any data along with the plus sign in your spreadsheet you can use that apostrophe first and along with that apostrophe your google sheet will also take will also consider that plus sign okay so let us test whether it is working fine or not along with the apostrophe i have clicked on this button save and send test request and here you can notice this time it has not provided any kind of error and our phone number along with all other details have been saved automatically into the spreadsheet okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to schedule any event in your calendly application the details will be added automatically into your spreadsheet and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach this link into my description box okay simply click on this link and sign up into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.